Good morning everybody. Today is Tuesday the 6th of July and um, soon I'm going into the other flat and exchange the key and everything and then and then that's done. And uh, on my way back I will go to my little sister and bring her some croissants and some orange juice. She has been sick for a while and um, she wants a visitor and so I'm going over there. And before the key exchange, I'm going to the vet and get uh, more drops for Silly. So I'm nearly ready to leave the house. I have another 10 minutes. And as usual, before I have to leave the house, I get very anxious and things. It gets better once I'm on the road and, and there and things are happening. But beforehand, I'm always a bit not so good. They will get better with practice, but um, that's what I'm lacking a bit because I'm inconsistent with my health um, situation. So I'm very nervous. <laughs> it all worked fine. A uh, key exchange has happened. And I'm now on the way to the sister. And she's on the way here. So we might see us somewhere around on the way there. If I take the right path, <laughs> very loudly, but that's nice. And I'm vlogging outside. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> took a long time. It took about an hour to do that, but it's all fine. I am back home, it is 10 to 2. I came back an hour ago and I lay down a bit because I feel quite sick in my stomach. And uh, now I thought about those um, veggie things I want to make with uh, the celery and the potatoes. So I started and chopped up the, the celery and I will um, first find my potatoes and cut some up too and then just cook that and mash it. And um, yes, I will show you the steps I'm making and then we'll see how it turns out. So here are the potatoes and the celery. And um, I did write down from the package that it's about 19% potatoes, 17, no, 19% carrots, 17% potatoes and 13% celery. And I don't know what I did, but <laughs> that would have been the aim. And here I got um, some carrots. I will just make small cubes and keep them out. I'll add them later because in the end I'm going to bake it in the oven. And um, I just realized I don't have peas. I do have the pea carrot mix. But I only want the peas in there because I want the fresh carrots. Unless I take the small carrots. Do I take those? It's a pity because the peas are so good. Maybe I try it without it. And the rest of the recipe would just be flour, eggs, bouillon, salt, uh, garlic powder and oil. And I'm just trying something. So in the time it took for that to start boiling, I chopped up all the carrots. I made kind of little cube sticks. And then I did fish out the peas out of my pea and um, carrot mix. And I also chopped up three little onions. It's not on the recipe though, but this is some bouillon. I don't know, I would just start an oil and garlic powder. And I would just start when this is done with uh, stamping it and then adding the bouillon and the oil and make a smooth something uh, like mashed potatoes. And then I add the carrots and those things. And I'll do that when it's still hot and then I wait a bit because I want to lie down again. <laughs> and then I add eggs and flour to make it different before I um, put it in the oven then. So I did in a few steps and maybe I should eat something else until then. And uh, yeah, they're moving the lawn outside. Yeah, 
and I was crying quite a bit whilst cutting with the onions and I hope that's it it also says salt I already have salt in there so I have garlic I don't know what else could be good maybe I take a little nutmeg I just like that I could also put some curry I kind of like that too and I guess that's it and I bought a lot of moon I want to bake something and um, yeah, moon salmon and they only sell it in those things 42 grams each 43 and so I bought about I got seven I want to make a moon cake I don't know the word in English I got my um, celery <laughs> really need to take a break now things start to get wrong Go wrong and now I, I just try to mesh that up I don't know if that celery meshes nicely and then I come back it is easier to mesh it with some liquids and I also added um, garlic powder I added uh, the bouillon and garlic powder no bouillon and oil I just poured it in and then a little bit of nutmeg and garlic powder a little bit of lot and I guess I keep the curry out, even though I like it a lot. But I don't know. And now I mash that. And now I add the carrots first. I didn't pre-cook them. I just hope that they get a bit um, soft when I put them with the hot stuff. I'm getting very annoyed because things go wrong. Just a hint for everybody, we should take a break when things start going wrong, which I should do now, but I'm just finishing the up. But if you can, take a break. And I decided to put in some curry, and all that's left is the, the onions and the peas, which are still a bit frozen. And yeah. Just mix that up, and then I wait till everything is a bit colder. So I can add some eggs and flour and um, take my hands to squish it together. And now I take a break. So this is how it looks. And just all right. Not like the things, but um, maybe it's going to turn out good too. <laughs> I have added more oil and four eggs and maybe a cup of flour. And now I spread it all on this uh, baking sheet tray, something. It's quite a lot, <laughs> it's uh, very full. And I put it in the oven with 180 degrees Celsius for, I don't know. <laughs> and in case you wonder what I do have behind my ear here, I do have a big zit behind there and, uh, or zit, <laughs> and pimple in English, English. Uh, Great Britain English, um, which means something completely different in German. <laughs> Don't want to talk about that. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, and I'm having cream on it, which is quite brown, and I don't want to have that all over the place, so I put that. It's a paper towel behind it. I just stuck it down with some band aids, and um, yeah, because I had one like that. It's about two years ago, and it was that big at some point really really huge and i'd rather do something sooner than uh, back then and uh, i still got the cream from then so i just smacked it on slapped it on <laughs> not the same thing yeah this is about an hour later and i think it's going to be quite um soft or something not like the ones i bought so i might experiment with more flour the next time and corn would have been good too and now i'm going going to eat a bit and and I hang on the couch i'm so tired <laughs> so i'm living on the first story and here's the snail and there's another one <laughs> cliff hanging feet I don't know how they came up here. I guess another tree. 
Mama they're down here and there's Tilly. And I'm baking two little cakes. I feel a bit better. I feel very bad. I think I'm getting a bit sick. But uh, I hope not too much. And now to the card I started two days ago. Um, I, I colored the critters yesterday. And I did the um, embossing, I don't know, day before that. Also the color, oh, you saw the coloring of the panel already, but I made those uh, splatters. And this time I just put a lot of score tape all around it and don't, don't take glue. Because like this, I can leave those things in here already. And um, yeah, that, that needs to be in there anyway. But with the glue, I was scared that it gets stuck. And now I tried out with a score tape. Unfortunately, it doesn't work because it needs more pressure and I need to push it here. Again, looks pretty though, but it does not work. I tried to put some pressure from behind, but I would have to stick something down here. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. So this is a practice piece. It's very annoying. I did it the last time with more layers here and then it worked out and also that I, I think I made those that big pull tab and there's only that part to glue together and that's not enough pressure for, for the strip that goes over here from the battery to the pull thingy. So if I make that one just that short I have more space to glue it on. And then I guess uh, that the pressure should be bigger there. But here's the compartment. I adjusted that. And I'm so clumsy at the moment. It's so annoying. Ta-da! Now the battery fell out. But I made that uh, thingy, that hole, so I can grab it and just pull it out. And now before I throw my phone, I switch it off. Today is Thursday, the 8th of July, and I am not doing so well uh, at the moment. I've it is uh, visible in the coming in the last <coughs> few videos with the uh, anger fits and uh, being so tired and I said something about when everything goes wrong and then one should take a break and uh, this is typical depression stuff um, and then <laughs> I just think of people was to tell you just do something nice and think positive and and it's just a mental thingy. It's not <laughs> getting so angry then. Because it's everything. It's physical. It's mostly physical and has a, has a psychological side to it. Um, so, what was the other thing? Oh, no, that's not that uh, telling. Um, yeah, barely slept. Uh, it's not so good. So, that's why I'm finishing this. I, I could go on so much about um, all the things people have told me. Uh, like suck it up, um, uh, just do something nice, enjoy your coffee. And this is also funny because when you're depressed, a coffee is not good for you and you get sick from drinking coffee and you cannot drink coffee <laughs> at that time. And uh, if somebody tells you just enjoy your coffee, that's just double the worse because it's not possible. And they don't get it and just look at the butterfly and enjoy the little things. Yeah, if that's not possible, then uh, try to figure something else out. And that's not possible either, so they just they increase the pressure on you. And not that people do that to me, because I'm out of things. And uh, <laughs> But as soon as you are in contact with people, that stuff comes. And also, what I had to hear a lot is, um, but you're still young. Uh -huh. Even the worse, being so young and having seasonal depressions all the time. And seasonal doesn't have anything to do with sunlight. I'm <laughs> just spilling it all out here. Yeah, but it just comes twice a year and throughout the year even more so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.